As you leave the coast of Portland, Maine behind, you don't have to travel far to find adventure. And today the crew and I are going to explore an abandoned island that is home to one incredible historic landmark. Located in Casco Bay, Hog Island has been the home of Fort Gorges since 1858. Named after Sir Ferdinando Gorges, this military stronghold entered into construction shortly after the War of 1812. It was intended to be a last line of defense against any potential invaders to the city of Portland, Maine. The fort never saw battle and was last active during World War II when it was used to store submarine mines. And while in current times it may be completely free of its armament, there's always a chance that something interesting can be found, especially by the Brave Wilderness team. Whew. That was a nice row. Very calm water. Okay, I think I am set and ready to go. Wow, look at this. Feels like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I think it feels like Gladiator. Whoa! This is epic! Are you not entertained? It's from the Gladiator, right? I think so. Woo! Look at all those cannon ports, all those windows. Yep, every single one of those would have been used to fight off invaders. All right, let's start exploring. Now, I wonder if there's any animals that live here. Look at this. Look at that. There's a small bone right there. First artifact located. Bird bone. Could be a bird bone. Could also be a small mammal bone. You have to ask yourself, how would a mammal get to an island like this? No idea. Maybe one that was being carried by a bird and the bird dropped it and it somehow survived, but I can't imagine it would be able to reproduce and start a colony, but birds could certainly be found on this island. Listen. Whoa, whoa. Man, dude, this looks like where they would have chained up King Kong. Oh yeah. Man, look at that. Wow, I wonder if this is used to anchor down like a cannon or something. Maybe. Or a giant ape. You guys hear that? Well, what's that? I think it's just us here. Look at that. Whoa, is that, a, is that a dungeon? Whoa. You got a flashlight? Perfect. I can't see anything, guys. This, this, you're good, you're good. We have to go up through there. Okay. All right, we have to go up through here. That's good. Can you imagine exploring this by yourself? That would be pretty scary. At night? At night, yeah. That's crazy. Let's make a whole trek around this. Okay. And uh, get some B-roll shots. Oh man, look at these archways. That's cool. Brick arches. <sighs> it's crazy. Can you imagine building something like this? I'm always impressed by these modern feats of mankind building something like this. And look at the minerals coming out of the brick and creating stalagmites and stalactites. That's wild. All right guys, so check this out. This is a cannon port. Right? So if I was a cannon, I'd be set up right here in this area. Right along this. And my barrel would be sticking right out of there. Oh, look, there's a boat out there. So say that was an enemy ship. Through this port, I could shoot cannonballs and try to sink the boat. Now, if that boat shot back in this direction, obviously this is very thick stone. But you can see it looks like there may have been a wall here at some point in time. I'm guessing this was a secondary barrier that if this wall blew up, that this would not give out, and then of course the inside of the fort would be protected. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep heading this direction. Coyote, hey, is this a uh, secret passageway of any kind? Uh, let's find out. Get my flashlight out here. I've seen this wall might like rotate, you know, like in the movies. If I push on the right stone? Yeah, is there like Wow, a look at all this bird poop. Cool. Is there a secret like, Password, like open sesame, or? <laughs> How hilarious would that be if that actually? Open sesame! You know what, what happens in the movies, right? What? Someone just is like, leaning backwards, tired, and then it goes through, and, it's and like, then the wall starts to come down. Yeah. 
Like Indiana Don't Jones. Don't do it, Mario. And then it's like, where's Mario? Where'd he go? Hey, Coyote! I don't know where Coyote is at. I don't know where Mark is at. I'm lost. And I think the tide came in and our kayaks got swept away. So here I am. Completely lost. Mario! Guys! Guys! Hey! Right here! What? How did you do that? I just went through like this portal, this passage. Whoa! Coyote! Coyote! Woo! That was crazy! How do I do it? Put it up against the wall! Ready? Mark! Hey! Oh, there you are! Hey, it worked! Dude, that's crazy! Well, in all seriousness, this is a dead end. Yep. So we gotta make our way, try to make our way to the top? Yeah, there, that doesn't lead anywhere. That's a dead end, so uh, I think if we go this direction, maybe towards this turret here, mm -hmm. looks like there's a little bridge that goes across, and then I think we can get up to the top level. Ooh, this looks good. Rickety. We're up at the top level now. There's all sorts of plants growing up here. It's like a whole ecosystem. This is awesome. Let's go through here. Cannon? I think this is a cannon. Whoa, you found a cannon. I thought they got rid of them all. Wow, I guess there's one left. This is huge. That is one old cannon. Woo. Well, up here on this hilltop, amidst all these plants, there's a cannon. And look at this. I think this is where it went. Yeah, it must have turned. Must have been on here and you could turn it. I bet that's what it is. I thought this was like a lost hatch or something like that. I bet it was mounted up on top of here. That's crazy. It's like a rotating cannon. All right, guys, let's go this way. Scary. Entertained. All right, let's go back to the kayaks. <laughs> that was pretty epic. I had some fun in there. I know you guys probably saw the intro to this video with me running around like it was the Blair Witch Project, thinking to yourselves, oh my gosh, was there really some crazy animal on that island? No, there wasn't. It's just an abandoned fort, but it's a pretty cool landmark. And you're probably saying to yourselves, well, how do I go and check out Fort Gorges? It's really simple, guys. All you need to do is go to Portland Paddle, rent a kayak, head the mile out here to the island, and explore this incredible infrastructure. It's easy. It's easy. Super easy. I'm Caddy Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Woo-hoo! Woo! <laughs> Fort Gorges was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1973 and is now open as a public park. However, the grounds are currently in a state of disrepair, so explore with caution and make sure to always put safety first. There is an incredible vision and bright future for this location, as friends of Fort Gorges hope to restore this historic landmark. To find out how you can help, make sure to visit their website 
And if you were ever in Portland, Maine, and want to have an adventure like me and the crew, look up Portland Paddle and tell them Coyote sent you. If you thought kayaking to an abandoned fort was cool, make sure to go back and check out the episode where we went rafting on Arizona's Salt River and managed to catch one stinky mud turtle. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, didn't break skin, but I still respect that bite. <laughs>